Hi everyone. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, how to uh, use a list or a table data in uh, jQuery. So in jQuery, we uh, can use a library to search and to filter and then to display a list of data using jQuery. Okay. So this is a final product. So uh, in this lesson, we uh, start uh, with a blank HTML file. So this HTML file here, uh, web page sample using data table and jQuery. Uh, we also have a style.css and we import the font size from Google Fonts API. Uh, so search for uh, your favorite uh, font size or font name. You uh, use a Noto Serif TC. So you copy this uh, name, uh, this font name, and paste to here. Then you import this into your uh, page. Uh, so firstly, we must test the output by uh, refreshing. Okay, we have a hello, how are you? Uh, so remove this, and uh, in this tip, I must import the uh, bootstrap and jQuery. So we import the bootstrap uh, minimum and jQuery minimum uh, into this document. Then uh, we can use this library to display. And uh, you can use a bootstrap uh, minimum for JavaScript. And uh, what about the data table? The data table is a library data table using jQuery. Uh, this data table will fill your uh, array or your list of objects into uh, a table. Then uh, uh, you can use it uh, by a pair of JavaScript and CSS. Uh, so this is my CSS and jQuery. You can import uh, from a CSS photo and uh, you create a file style.css CSS and you import this and you can also create new photo. So you have a new photo uh, jQuery and you copy this jQuery file to uh, this okay and you create a new file inside the jQuery and name index.js. Uh, this file will contain some of the function and uh, um, some of the action or even in jQuery. So you import this into uh, this file inside a head tag. And uh, uh, so in this div, we uh, have a heading one. This statement has the size of display 4 and the marking uh, top and bottom. Uh, and the text info is the color. The color is uh, about a little bit like information or uh, uh, green. Okay. So list of user is uh, the container of heading one. So refresh. So we have a list of user. It is a heading one uh, to display before a list. Then we have a table element. And this table element is stripped. Stripped means that uh, we have the color uh, uh, and uh, color zero, color one, and then color zero, color one. Okay. And uh, this is table stripped. Uh, the ID of the table element is users, and we have a table header. The header part uh, contain uh, some of the information like the column name uh, so we, we have a list of uh, table row and table head uh, and then we have a one two three four five table head uh, for example id name email uh, address and uh, phone okay so it is a header uh, it is header of your table uh, so you can use it and inside the body you have the row of the table row and the table data the, the table data here to display detail uh, according to the field 
for example it is a phone and uh, here is a email etc and refresh okay so we have a list or table to display here uh, but the information here is fixed so you can use it to uh, display by using jQuery so in jQuery we have a callback function this callback function is called when uh, the document is load or finished to load then in uh, the second line uh, you can add uh, an action to the list header so the action here can be click double click mouse enter and mouse leave uh, so it is even uh, this even is called when the mouse when your mouse enter to the list header and otherwise when your mouse leave from the list header it will uh, change the color so depending on uh, the event you can change uh, the background color from light gray to yeah okay so uh, when you move your finger or move your mouse uh, the color is changed uh, so we also have a function init uh, table data uh, this function will initialize the data for, uh, for for the list and uh, here we have a list of JavaScript object with the uh, attribute we have attribute and value we have key pair of up key and value or a name then the value is claim to metin bond okay so we define an object of table and this table and uh, will be called when you initialize uh, the table data according to the id of the div or the id of the table and then you call data table and inside this we uh, have an option the option here is firstly showing processing and the second is is data uh, the data attribute is uh, get from the data object and uh, so because the data and the value has the same string so you can write it like this uh, so here is a column as a column name depending on the field in the object yes uh, it is a map in the object and um, so you call the init uh, table data from here when the document is already lot loaded uh, so we remove this line because it is not necessary and you refresh okay so here we have a two object the user and then you can add more this and if it has many record you can display by paging so uh, you remove this line and add more so you can add more record to this you can add more object uh, no, or JSON object to this and you refresh okay so we have three records uh, you can search but leave search by typing your uh, character and then after that the, the result will display to you by using leave search or filter yes it is quite convenient when you have many uh, objects and you want to search okay uh, so in this case we have the data the data in this case is fixed data uh, it means that uh, it cannot be changed and uh, uh, if you want to get from an URL or an HTTP or the get method how can I do this uh, so for for example we have a free uh, URL for testing you can use this JSON placeholder type code and user so the rest point here is a JavaScript or uh, object notation object uh, or the JSON the JSON hub object has attribute and value or key and value 
so you define the URL user in this case is a string of HTTP JSON placeholder here yes and uh, after you get this URL you can call this uh, by a get method using the get function the get function uh, has output data here it is a data object and uh, you can comment out and check by alert to alert the value when it gets from the HTTP server or from the URL user. And you convert it to uh, string by calling JSON stringify. And after refreshing, you can see that we have a list of objects or a JSON object here. Then you can use it to fill in your data uh, list or in your table. Uh, so it is easy, you can copy this code line and paste to this and uh, rerun your program. Or uh, you can uh, add it to rename this by respond data uh, to distinguish between the data and uh, the respond data will be the value of the data. Okay, and when you press refresh here, you can see that we have a list of object and uh, you should convert the object object here to string to for display by uh, showing some of the specific attribute for example uh, with a complicated attribute address you can display a street or suit or city etc and separate it by comma so uh, you can add uh, a specific view by uh, for example dot street and reload okay so we have the address here uh, in this case is the street name and you can also uh, type dot suit uh, so in this case we have suit okay and refresh then we have the address like here and uh, so you need to modify the response data to be more beautiful before displaying uh, you can do this by using a, a function in javascript uh, is map so you can call map uh, to convert from one array to another array with a different object inside uh, so the function here is has a uh, zero function uh, each user and you can convert each user uh, dot id dot name uh, to the new object and uh, for specifying the, the address you can uh, concatenate the string using the address from street site and city okay so the phone number here is uh, the phone from each user or the phone from every object in the list yes and you copy the modified user to here and then you can change the address here now is the address view not an object anymore and refresh so we have what the address is quite uh, easy to display yes so we have the uh, uh, z address contain street seat and um, city okay and you refresh again to reload the data uh, so uh, uh, if it is four in the case it is four or uh, the url is wrong it will uh, come to the code back for phones and uh, if you set a wrong URL, for example, type AA and refresh. So cannot get data from URL. Okay. Uh, so uh, use the correct uh, URL or uh, the get request to display proper or suitable uh, objects. Okay. And uh, now you remove the body and uh, the table body and uh, we uh, we now have a button below the table uh, 
uh, button reload data okay so we have a button like here and you want to use it to reload the data inside the table so uh, for simply you can add an action to this by uh, calling on or uh, on when you uh, have the easy event click or user click to uh, this button so the function is call and then you uh, can call the Isaac uh, Isaac from table dot reload to reload the data inside the table okay and so before uh, reloading you can alert to so that uh, to ensure that this come to this uh, event refresh okay and reload okay so uh, another way you can uh, now also uh, change a little bit some many function to uh, many event to uh, using jQuery. So it is uh, an my lesson about table data and some specific uh, function of jQuery. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.